Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to clean your serger. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. The equipment that you're going to need are two screwdrivers. The smaller one is for removal of your needle. The larger one will help remove the screw from your throat plate and you're going to need a lint brush. This will help sweep away all those lints inside of your machine. You're also going to need um, tweezers that will help to remove some of the clogged up areas that you may find once you get in there and also you need your overlocking machine oil make sure it is machine oil and these tools what should come with your serger first thing you need to do for safety reason is to unplug your serger the next step will be to remove your threads and then to remove your needles and your presser foot I've now opened up the doors of my serger, this one first and the side one. And the next thing is to remove the throat plate. So with my large screwdriver, get it in there, remove my screw, put it safely to one side, we can get to the workings underneath. Now you should see there's lots of lint in there, maybe a little bit too much, but I wanted to show you how and what it looks like and how effectively the little brush that should come with your serger. Just, just use a dabbing motion to make sure you do get all that lint away. And if you can get to the inside of the machine here, you see all that thin there, and brush that towards the base of the machine here, and then I'll get my tweezers and just get some of those clumps out and then go back into the machine and it really is just a case of looking and finding little areas within your machine to actually remove as much of the flint as possible. Now I'm going to come back round to here just to make sure and then I'm going to the side of the serger and making sure I get them all out and then once you're happy with the removal of all of your flint because remember you want to keep your machine in nice working order and you don't want because if you do get a lot of build up of flint it can jab all the jam all the kind of components that are in the machine all the moving parts so now I've got that pretty much brushed away and the next step for me to do is to just get my tweezers and get to the bottom area here and remove the flint there and I'll come back to you this is the amount of lint that's come from my last sewing project and as you can see it's important that you do remove it so whenever you do a sewing project do remove it because it will build up and you don't want it to clog your serger the next thing I'm going to show you is how to oil your serger do refer to your manual because it will give you indications of where to oil your machine you do have to oil the parts where I'm going to demonstrate now by turning my hand wheel which is the moving part of the actual serger and it will only be a case of putting a drop or two no more than that on these moving parts so for example I'll put one drop there another moving part is down here and I'll continue around this area also but as I said do refer to your manual at the top of your surgery you may find a little hole here and that requires a couple of drops that's all it will take and that will actually get to the mechanisms to the part of the machine you can't actually reach and after you've done that it'll be a case of dusting down the face of the machine and also where your actual threads stand as you can see, it is important to clean your serger and I would recommend that you take it to be serviced every 6 to 12 months depending how often you use it. If you have any comments or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.